dope coming at my pores Walk in by the whole store Remember I was poor Oh well, not no more Get paid, fuck these hoes Used to have to sell that rock Like there are certain states There's only like so many different things that can happen Are right, you gonna have like reschedules Where she like lets you know she can't make it And suggests another day You're gonna have reschedules Where she says she can't make it And she doesn't suggest a day, right? And you have to deal with each one of these things in turn And try to just keep resetting those meetups, right? As, as fast as possible so other terminology that I use in the calendar reminder. So I told you I'll put down the person, their name and I'll put the time, right? So for that example with the girl scheduled on Wednesday at four, I'll say such and such, so her name, 4 p.m. And I'll either put like to house or to bar, right? So I can, it's like a little reminder mentally. So when I wake up Wednesday morning, I can see this shit and I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to meet this chick at the bar, you know, so I need like two and a half hours with this one, or this one's coming to the house, I could get away with maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and that's all going to factor in, you know, it sounds like ADD, but this, this is like the most efficient way to deal with scheduling all these girls, okay? Now, what else is the calendar? Oh, set is another term I use, so I'll say, not set like an interaction, like the game term, I'll say like set Jennifer, set whatever, Samantha, okay, I'll pick a name, or I'll pick, you know, I'll, I'll say set, and then the girl's name, okay, now, um, you're gonna use that, like, say she's like, a lot of the girls aren't free the weekends, right, my week's jammed, I'll be free this weekend, okay, now, I'll usually put in a reminder, say she says that like a Monday or Tuesday, I'll put in a reminder on Thursday, I'll say set, Jennifer for a weekend, okay? I'll put in a reminder for Friday, set Jennifer for a weekend, okay? I'll, I'll put it for both days just in, case, in case I didn't see the reminder or in case we didn't set plans exactly, okay? On that Thursday. And I'm telling you, all these little things add up. Like, if you just like hope to remember that you should set her that weekend, you're gonna probably forget and you're gonna probably miss the opportunity and then the leaves gonna go cold and, and it's done, right? So it's like, not only am I acquiring very solid leads and I'm, you know, framing them for them to meet up and stuff like that and in the night game interaction, I'm bringing all this alpha shit and like positive vibe and like they're, they're loving me, all this, all this value stuff that I'm talking about in my verbals. Like I'm getting a lot of leads and they're high quality leads with high quality girls. And then I'm working them like a fucking machine, like an optimized motherfucker, right? <laughs> Whereas a lot of you guys are just letting them all like sift through the cracks and you're just burning up all your leads, right? And what does that result in? Less girls banged, less dates, less girls on rotation. And I'm not gonna fucking get into the argument here about, oh, well, what if we don't wanna bang lots of girls? And what if we don't care about racking up numbers? It's not even about racking up numbers. It's about like following through on what you went out to do. Like why are you going to the club? To meet hot girls to bring into your life. If you get the fucking number, you can't, like I said, you can't pull the 10 girls you meet that night all that night. Probably not even the one, because a lot of you don't know how to pull properly yet. Right? And even if you did, you still have nine others. You can't just say, oh, I don't care about banging lots of girls, and just like, you know, why are you getting the number then? Why, why are you going out? If you, you know, the, you can't give me a good argument why you wouldn't want to see these leads to the end and close them and have that hot girl that you had a good conversation with be on rotation for six months or one year or whatever the fuck, even two months, because I usually get bored of rotation girls in like two to three months. Um, because there's so many other fucking cool ones and the, and the novelty of, of the new ones just supersedes the, you know, you keep on the good ones, but that's all another topic. Um, watch my rotations video. Okay, so um, another example of when you're gonna use that set verbiage, like set so-and-so, is when the girl's like, I'm not sure of my schedule yet, or my car should be fixed. It's any, it's any kind of like um, incomplete information that will be determined at a later date. So she's like, oh, my schedule hasn't come out yet. Um, okay, when are you getting your schedule? Tuesday. Okay, sounds good. I'll either put a calendar reminder for Tuesday night or for Wednesday morning. Set Brittany. Okay, like Brittany got schedule set. Okay. And I know what that means. I'm gonna see it and I'm be like, okay, now I can set this up. You can't be like, just give me some options because she doesn't fucking know. She doesn't have her schedule. And you don't wanna just like hope you remember. Like, you can't keep this shit straight. This is why you need to, this is why I'm making this video. I already made the working volume video and I cover some of this stuff 
on the surface, but now I'm like digging deeper because this is the kind of shit you're gonna be having to do on a daily basis. It's almost like a fucking like little like office assistant. You're gonna be like your own little like office assistant, like dealing with all this shit. And you don't really want to like outsource this. Like I know some guys have tried to outsource this, <laughs> but it's like you're having to. Sometimes you have to reference personal things from the conversation that you had with her. Sometimes she's asking you personal questions. You want to add in your own little touch of like flirtation. Only you know your schedule. Your your schedule is like, you know, even if you tell an assistant, your schedule is changing dynamically. Things are coming up dynamically. You're gonna to want to like fucking um, champion this effort of setting up all these leads and, and seeing them into execution. Okay, you just have to do it yourself. And it is a big time commitment. If, if you don't want to have to deal with all this shit, don't go out as much. Don't do online game as much. Just don't acquire as many leads at the beginning of the funnel as I talked about in my tactical game breakdown video. If you, you know, the less shit you put in the machine, the less shit that's going to come out, all right? I pump a lot of shit in. You know, I try to still read books and go to the gym and do a bunch of other balance type stuff, okay? Um, but it, it does, it is a significant time investment. And I'm, I'm telling you, like, the optimum, like, I don't chit chat over text. I'm just, when are you free? She tells me, okay, and I'm gonna get into what happens when they don't reply to your texts and, and when they don't reply to one of your free and shit like that. Um, hopefully this video doesn't go too long. But this, this, I wanna stress again and again and again. This video is gonna be one of the most important I put on, on my channel. A lot of you can't appreciate that, just take my word for it, okay? Um, this, this is like the core of how to work all these leads you're acquiring, okay? Because you know, these leads are worthless if you're not working them properly. If you go on a bunch of nights, you get a whole bunch of phone numbers, you know, you, you aimlessly text some of them, you're trying to banter with them a whole bunch, you never really like set very many plans, or like, you know, she's like, oh, I, I can't meet till the weekend, or another girl's like, wait till you get my schedule, or she's like, I'm sick. You know, all these different things, I'm going out of town, all these, like, when are you gonna be back in town? Oh, this day. I go to the day before, set so-and-so back from vacation tomorrow. That could be in two weeks, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm sick, like one of my one of my top rotation girls was supposed to sleep over a few nights ago and she's like texting me pictures of her sick in bed and all that shit. She has the flu, you know. So I put a calendar reminder like three days out, like check with her how she's feeling and then like five days out, you know, and that's not like inhuman, like I actually do care how she's feeling. But like, I need to remind myself because there's so many fucking girls going on. And then, you know, f five days in, check to see if she's better. And then I'm gonna be coming, I'm gonna be trying to set her again, like five, six days in because she's probably gonna be better by then, okay? So, the examples we're gonna use the set verbiage is, there's like an indeterminate situ like information situation, right? She doesn't have her schedule yet. She has to see if she can find a babysitter, which is becoming increasingly common. Like it seems like every fucking girl is a single mom. There's so many of them these days. It's, it's insane. Um, and if, if, for those of you that are advanced or doing a lot of volume, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> it's, it's, it's out of control. So they don't know their schedule. They don't, they don't know if they can get a babysitter yet. They don't know if their car um, will be repaired yet. Um, they might have a meeting or something like that, but it's not sure yet. You know, you guys can use your brains. Anything that's not sure yet. They're going out of town, they're sick. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to when that event is culminating. Like, when are they back in town? When are they probably gonna be not sick anymore? Um, when are they gonna know if they have a sitter or another schedule? That's when you put the calendar reminder, that's when you write set, okay? And then the reason why it's important is because these leads are gonna go cold. It's a little different with rotation girls, especially if they're strong, you can get away with, you know, not seeing them for a week. But, with these new leads you haven't met up with yet, you're gonna to wanna to see them as fast as possible and you're not you're not gonna to wanna to let, you know, like a week go by or two weeks go by because then the lead's done, okay? Now, what else? I should actually, well, I don't need to look at the phone. I'm trying to think of what else. So, so on like a typical day, like for tomorrow, for instance, all right, I'm, I'm recording this, I think it's like fucking half past midnight. I've been, I've been meaning to record this like all day and I, I just closed two new today at 7.91 and 792 and it's like I said it's you know I'm like banging for hours like it's fucking it's fun but it's, it's taking a whole bunch of time and I wanted to record this video so like I, I set one for tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. <laughs> tomorrow tomorrow was like kind of anomaly I, I like really stacked the day up so I got an 11 a.m. Um, the chick's coming straight to the house so I wrote like her name like 
her name, 11 a.m. 11 a. house. Um, I have a 1 p.m. Same thing, coming to the house. I have to Uber that chick. She should, her car isn't fucking working right now. Um, so I'm like, so-and-so, house, Uber, right? I have a 3 o'clock. This chick's driving from like an hour away. And I was like, don't be late, because I'm like, I'm like scheduling these like two hours apart. I'm like, don't be late. You know, because she like flaked one other time before, and I'll, I'll get into that. What happens is I flake. I said, don't be late. Don't be late, make sure you're on time. See her at three. And then I'll probably hit the gym around dinner time. And then I have a seven o'clock who hasn't gotten back to me yet. And I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll tell you guys how to deal with that when they haven't replied. And then. Yeah, I don't even fucking know, because my phone's in there. I might have one more. But yeah, I mean, that's... Typically, there's one to three dates per day or whatever. This this tomorrow is going to be... And most, I think, actually, all these are new. Um, so I might be fucking a fuck buddy in the afternoon. But see, you can stack up fuck buddies and stack up dates on top of each other, like, for the same time. Because girls are going to flake, and you can do this rearranging thing. 